What's up folks? I've had a very, very, very productive day. I've actually had a very productive week or so. I uh, got a lot done. So did you guys check out the shed video I uh, put up? It's kind of a different video than what I've done normally. Not really a project, just kind of cleaning up the shed. And also, so I've got all my tools in the shed finally. And I finally got all of this nice and clean. So yay, no more looking like trash and i ended up putting some of these blocks down here in front of the door not necessarily for steps they're kind of there for steps they're just sitting there but more importantly to get them away from the front of my garage i had them well first they were stacked up in that corner for over the winter time and then i moved them to this corner they've been sitting here for a while so i finally said now hey, let's just move it over there move the trash can over here now we've got all this nice wide open space to i don't know move around walk around do all the good stuff um but so that video was yesterday or the day before whenever this vlog comes out and then i modified my poke bench i modified the modified poke bench i just basically ended up putting a solid top on there no more split and drilling the holes and i just you can kind of see it but i just sprayed a satin finish on the top it's satin polyurethane and it looks pretty good. I made a video on my finishing technique oh, and I put the holes in the top. Should have done that a long time ago. That is just freaking awesome. And this piece of plywood looks pretty cool too. Um, but the holes in the top, absolutely awesome. If you ever make one of these polk benches, don't screw up like I did and not put the holes in the top. Uh, there's going to be a video on the holes in the top and then modifying some clamps to work with it. And then there's going to be a video on my finishing setup i just use a cheap harbor freight hvlp setup but a lot of people ask have asked me questions about it so i figured i might as well shoot a quick little video on it and all that good stuff and i'm trying to do this in one take so uh what else do we got going on uh a lot of stickers and stuff for the cabinet let's go through those real quick I got like seven or eight of them this month this week um wayne Coon, focus there you go wayne sent a baltimore area turners sticker that's pretty cool i want to get a lathe but i don't really have a place for it and blah 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 arthur peterson sent some alaska stuff alaska at the great land and the iditarod trail from alaska that is some tough tough stuff on both the person and the dogs really tough stuff and then this brudge ho bread ho prud ho God, I can't talk. Prudho, I think I'm saying that right. Prudho Bay, Alaska, America's finest oil field. Three stickers there, that's pretty cool, thank you. Uh, Michael from Deacon Woodworks, check this out. This is a sticker, this is a logo, obviously. And I just think that looks very classy, very nice. I like that, that's a good one. And then uh, James Perry sent a really, really awesome sticker. This is his daughter, him and his daughter. He's, he's holding his thumb and then she's holding the hammer like, oops. <laughs> that is very cool. I, I, I laughed a lot when I first saw that. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you very much for the sticker. And then David Plants from Rowdy Penguin Productions. I've seen him a lot on YouTube and I very much appreciate the sticker, David. And then uh, Mike Capazzi, Capazzi, Cap I'm sorry, Capazzi, sorry, uh, sent a Touchstone Energy sticker and a Choco sticker. I think that's how you say Choco. See if it'll focus. It's not gonna focus. And then Brian Wilson sent a Hampton, Virginia sticker. He doesn't really have a woodworking sticker, he said, so he sent one to represent his hometown of Hampton, Virginia. Thank you very much for all the stickers to all of you. I appreciate it for the sticker cabinet. We'll put them on in just one second, but first, check this out. This is a bunch of MDF with some metal coatings on the top and they've been CNC'd, and these are like buttons. They're rounded over, you know, like a button, and they got magnets on the back. So this, like this big old guy right here. That looks pretty cool. And we'll take one more of these. Let's go with a small one. Take a small one over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you. And also made some of these MDF little pieces, CNC, and instantly, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a texture on this. It feels, it almost feels waxy, but when I saw this, I instantly thought of Han Solo in, in uh, 
Carbonite. Uh, I think it's called Carbonite. Han Solo when he was all frozen. Very cool. Very cool. Very much appreciate it. And then a blank one with my logo. And then this other one right here. And all this is from uh, Jimmy Angel. I very much appreciate that. You're a very good, nice, nice man. Appreciate that. So let's put all these stickers up on the cabinet real quick. So other than that, I'm just pretty much staying busy. I'm trying to uh, work ahead and get as much done as I can uh, before I start in on some indoor furniture projects, either a uh, tall bookshelf or a new set of end tables and a coffee table. I'm not exactly sure. My wife wants the bookshelf first. So that's probably gonna be the first one out um, in a week or two once I wrap up the small shop stuff that I wanted to get done really, really quick. But anyway, it is hot. I've been sweating all day, so I'm going to go enjoy the air conditioning. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.